It's Belle Story Time. Today's story is One Word from Sophia. Sophia's birthday was coming up and she had five things on her mind. One true desire and four problems. Her one true desire was to get a pet giraffe for her birth. The four problems were mother who was a judge, father who was a businessman, uncle Conrad who was a politician, and grandmama who was very strict. Sophia presented her case to mother. I would like a giraffe, she said, because they burn less gasoline. So they meet federal regulations better than the cars we use now. In the last 50 years, no giraffes have been recalled for defective parts and newer models have a particularly strong safety record. Also, giraffes have not been shown to be the cause of any major diseases. Giraffes are legal in all 50 states. And a giraffe could make me to ballot classes and deliver me from the second floor. Her argument was accompanied by a compelling slideshow that includes a map of the walk to class. I'm sorry, said mother in her decision, but I would have to rule against a giraffe at this time. You provided no proof that you are ready for pet ownership and failed to cite any laws about the minors driving quadruplet. And your argument was too verbose. Verbose? asked Sophia. What's that mean? Too many words, said mother. How many should I use? Fewer, said mother, and she retired to her chambers. So Sophia used fewer words with father. Giraffes, said Sophia, are a good source of manure, which can be sold at a profit to garden centers and activists. In short, people will pay for more poop. Her proposal was accompanied by a compelling graph showing how much money she would make. I'm sorry, said father, but your business plan is unsold. You failed to count the cost of care and feeding for your manure producer, not to mention the warehouse of poop. And your presentation was far too effusive. Effusive? asked Sophia. What's that mean? Too many words, said father. How many should I use? Fewer, said father, and he got back to his conference call. Sophia polled the other members of the household and presented the result to Uncle Conrad. Four out of five respondents are in favor of giraffe, she said. The results were accompanied by a compelling pie chart. I am sorry, said Uncle Conrad, but your results indicate that being in favor of giraffe ownership would cost me support from the Pony American community. And besides, your report was too loquacious. Sophia didn't even need to ask. Finally, she approached Grandmama. She accompanied her plea with a compelling foot. No, said Grandmama, and do try to get the point next time. In a last desperate attempt before her birthday, Sophia prepared to speak to everyone at once. She revised and shortened her proposition until it was just one word. Please! 
The proposal was accompanied by a particular compelling pair of eyes. On her birthday, Sophia was delighted to find that short and sweet often brings results. One word really worked, she said. And two words came in handy as well. Thank you. The end. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like and share, and come back for more. Thank you.